Okay, so who doesn't love a bad guy, right? Who doesn't love the villains? They get awesome outfits, they get all the armor that looks real cool, they get awesome weapons. Everything's awesome, just like the Lego movie said. So today, I'm gonna to be talking about one of the new bad guys from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And it is... Nailed it. The Knight of Ren. So I only received this yesterday afternoon, so less than a day ago. But I have had chance to look it over and make an assessment. And here are my thoughts. So first up, we're going to look at the packaging. And as usual, we get an awesome depiction of the character on the front here. By the way, this guy does actually have a name. It is... Um, Vikral. So, yeah, Vikral. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call him Knight of Ren. So, yeah, on the front is the image. On the side, as usual, as well as the lovely shiny redness, there's also a number 105. We've finally passed the 100 mark. So, this is the first post 100 Black Series figure that I have reviewed on this channel. And then on the back, there is another image of Mr. Knight of Ren, Vikral. And there's also a description in various languages, which I will, of course, read to you. Here we go. Knight of Ren. An enclave of masked warriors wielding distinct weapons for ranged and close quarter combat, the Knights of Ren are elite, fearsome enforcers of Kylo Ren. And they get all of about five minutes screen time in the film. Anyway, let's open it up. Well, hello. Feet first, obviously. So here he is in all his glory. Look at him. That's awesome. Look at, I, I love the mask. The mask's a really cool mask. In fact, let's just get on to talking about the likeness and sculpt of this figure, which I love. It looks fantastic, as I just said. The mask looks really good. I'm digging the checkerboard look that he's got going on here. Looks looks cool. And from the side, it's not like a million miles away from what Kylo Ren's mask looks like. So, there's that. He's got a really well sculpted body and outfit going on. Sculpted body makes it sound like he's been working out. It could have been, I don't know. You know what I mean. And I also love the paint job and the weathering that they've done on this. So like, his boots are all dirtied up. Like up here on his on his chest bit, that's all dirtied up and the shoulder, then round the back at the bottom of the cloak outfit, that's dirty too. So yeah, pretty awesome. And speaking of the uh, the outfit bit, it's made of a soft plastic, which it does look better than actual soft goods, because soft goods just look ridiculous. So looks wise, I really do like the soft plastic outfit thing. And overall, for looks and sculpt, I'm going to give the Knight of Ren a solid 9 out of 10. This is awesome. Next up, we're going to talk about articulation. How well does the Knight of Ren move? Oh. So to say it's such a good figure, and he has a lot of articulation up top, like the top half of his body is fantastic, the neck moves up and down and all around, shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, all that good stuff. He twists at the waist. All that's great, but the legs are sort of pointless. Well, not pointless, because they can go forwards and they bend at the knees and everything like that, but because of the soft goods, it, they don't really go back too much. The soft goods sort of push the legs back forwards into place. So in that respect, having the soft goods outfit is sort of annoying in that you can't pose it. But then it's like swings and roundabouts. Do I like it because it looks good? but then it hinders the articulation. I don't know, I don't know what I like. I don't know what I want. Long story short, for articulation, I'm gonna give the Knight of Ren, for as awesome an action figure as he is, a six out of 10. Next up, we're gonna come on to accessories, of which the Knight of Ren has two. He's got a blaster right here upon his side, and he's also got this, this scythe. I just checked the visual dictionary and this thing does actually have a name. It is a vibro scythe blade. 
so now you know. The gun looks awesome, it's got a really nice paint job and I like the little bit of fabric wrapped around the, uh, the handle bit. And of course it does fit into his hand really well, the finger goes into the trigger, so the gun's great. Then we're going to move on to the vibro blade, which the camera will not focus on. The vibro blade anyway. Again, this looks like a really cool bit of kit, it's got a lot of really nice detailing and paint on it. Like I like the little twiddly wires up top here. Don't know what they're for. I, I assume the, the vibro a bit. Whatever, it's a neat little detail that makes that makes this melee weapon really pop. It's suddenly come like really cloudy outside. And that's ruining my video. Oh no, it's going bright again. Damn weather. Do I think that the Knight of Ren could have come with any other accessories? Nah. Like, I didn't even expect him to come with a gun, to be fair, because you don't really see him use it in the film. They use the, the melee bit when uh, when they're giving Kylo Ren a whooping. Sorry, Ben Solo. When they're giving Ben Solo a whooping. It's come really bright again. So the addition of a blaster is just like an extra cool bit. So, as far as accessories go, I'm going to give the Knight of Ren an 8 out of 10. I think that's, that's pretty fair. And then finally, how much do I like the Knight of Ren? And I'm not going to lie, I'm a sucker for bad guys. It's fairly obvious that I like this action figure. I have nothing too bad to say about it. I mean, yeah, his leg's a little bit loose. Like, it's fixable, it's just, it's just sort of a little bit loose. But I assume that's just like a problem for this, this specific action figure that I've got in my hand here. And it, even then, it's not that much of a problem. But he looks fantastic, I love the mask. I love the outfit, I love the weapons. So, for how much I like him, I'm gonna give him a solid nine out of 10 because he cool, he's really cool. Love me some bad guys. I like all the bad boys. So let's chat about this figure overall. Is he a worthwhile figure? Was he worth purchasing? In fact, I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered him months back and as I say, he only came yesterday. I think he was worth the wait because he's so cool. So let's give the Knight of Ren an overall score. So we're gonna consider a likeness and sculpt score of nine out of 10, an articulation score of six out of 10, an accessory score of eight out of 10, and a how much I like him score of nine out of 10. And overall, the Knight of Ren gets a pretty solid eight out of 10. And that's a pretty well deserved 8 out of 10 too because look at him, he's, he's cool, he's awesome. I've said awesome too many times this video. Awesome! Would I tell you to pick him up? Hell yeah! If you can find him anywhere, pick him up, full price, totally worth it. If you can find it cheaper, even more worth it. But, you know, don't be afraid to pay full price for the Knight of Ren. Because that's how good he is. Now all we need is for them to make the other... The other five knights of Ren, and we're on to a winner. Like, imagine a lineup of, of this guy, the other five knights of Ren, and Kylo Ren. That would look sick. But yeah, anyway, that's my review for the Knight of Ren. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already. Also, if there are any other uh, Black Series action figures that you want to see me review, let me know that too. Because I have got an absolute stockpile that I need to get through. So. Any suggestions as to what I do next are completely welcome. And with that being said, me and Vikral the Knight of Ren are going to get gone. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>